How's it going everyone, this is Tom, and as I'm sure you're aware, the iOS 7 Untethered Jailbreak is now out. I'm going to show you some compatible tweaks that you can now install on iOS 7. Obviously, some of these will be old, some of them will be new tweaks. The first one is called Swipe Selection. This is one of my all-time favorite jailbreak tweaks, and it lets you scroll through your typing or through your text simply by moving your finger across uh, the keypad, as you can see right here. Uh, super, super useful on iPads more than iPhones because you can just swipe and it's so quick to edit your text rather than having to uh, tap and hold for the little magnifying glass. You can also hold shift and that will select text as you scroll. Thoroughly recommended and excellent tweak. Next up is called Tabless. Now, as you can see on the iOS 7, or normally on the iOS 7 lock screen, you get these little tabs at the bottom to indicate uh, notification center and also control center. They're kind of little bars. And uh, this tweak actually removes them. It's all it does uh, is just a tiny little tweak just to do that. Obviously, you still have the camera icon in the bottom right hand corner, uh, but it's really nice. It makes it a lot cleaner. And I don't know why those little icons are there all the time after you first uh, install iOS 7. Next up is called Hidden Settings 7, and this is actually gives you access to Apple's internal uh, Springboard Settings menu. So you just tap on the uh, little add on to control center there and you get all of these options. I'm not going to go through each and every one of these just because there's a too many to be perfectly honest. It would take me all day to sit here and uh, describe each one. So if you have an iOS 7 jailbroken device, uh, just go ahead and have a play. Go a play around with all of these settings. Uh, for example, you can change the uh, screen fade animation. If you bump that all the way up to the top and then lock and unlock your device, you can see that the fade in is a lot slower than it normally is. Just things of that nature, little kind of addition that will make your device uh, your own. Uh, it's a really wicked tweak and again it's free. Next up is flip control switch. Now this actually has to do with control center and the toggles within control center. As you can say this is like uh, kind of like SP settings. It gives you a ton more toggles uh, available in the control center toggles uh, which of course you normally just get five in for things like Wi-Fi and such. This is on Ryan Petrus's beta repo, which will be down in the description if you want to go and add it into your sources. And here are a list of all of the toggles. You can include them uh, and disclude them. As you can see, things like VPN and respring toggles. So now you can directly respring from your control uh, center. As you can see here, if we just go ahead and demonstrate, uh, swipe up. And then it just resprings your device. Uh, and again, a another free tweak, so very much recommended. Next one's called Bigify. If I'm sure you've noticed uh, that I don't have any icon labels on my springboard, uh, and that is courtesy of Bigify. And uh, you get some settings, you get rotation, angle, and transparency. I don't think they are compatible as of yet, but hide icon labels is. And it's really useful for me. I don't really like having the uh, barrage of icon labels when I know what my icons are anyway. Uh, so I have the labels there and just kind of clutter up your home screen it gives a much cleaner look as you can see you can enable and disable them very easily and it's a useful tweak for me to have and the final tweak I'm going to be showing you today is called dock shift uh, what this does is it allows you to change the style of the kind of background of your dock uh, as you can see you just enable it in the settings and then you can choose from transparent and there's a ton of options uh, so as you can see I'll just back out onto the settings page here Go onto my home screen, you can see that the uh, white, kind of cloudy default iOS 7 dock background is gone and it's now transparent. You can uh, make it a, quite a heavy blur, for instance, and show you that as well. Uh, and obviously that on this background doesn't look that great. Uh, and you can even do kind of darker situations and things. Uh, so obviously just a bit of fun, a little bit more customization on your device uh, and just adds a bit of personality to your dock. There we have it guys, that kind of sums up this list. Obviously not a ton of tweaks are compatible with iOS 7. Obviously that will improve when Mobile Substrate is updated uh, and more developers kind of get on it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. Again, drop some comments and likes on this video if you want to be entered to win a $15 iTunes gift card. And I will catch you next time uh, for more iOS 7 jailbreak videos.